Koichi thought it must be a dream. His jaw dropped in disbelief. You must take good care of her, Koichi, said Mother, who gently cradled the baby primate in her arms. Mum and Dad had found the animal alone in the core at the edge of the forest, whimpering in despair. What would you like to call her? Father asked. Yuki, Koichi answered without a moment's delay. Ah, of course, Father replied. She is, after all, a snow monkey. From that day onwards, Koichi and Yuki, which means snow in Japanese, became the best of friends. Every day after school, Koichi dashed home in record time to feed Yuki. Afternoons were spent playing in the park, where other children watched with envy. One day after school, Koichi rushed home only to find Yuki sleeping in a cage in broad daylight. This was very unusual for Yuki, who was always excited to see Koichi back from school. He gently patted the monkey to awake her. Yuki slowly opened her eyes but remained curled up. Yuki is sick, Koichi, said old Dr. Tomio, the only veterinarian in town. But I do not know what is wrong with her. I'm afraid I will need to keep her here for a few days. Koichi did not say a single word during the car ride home. Let's hope she gets better soon, Mother said softly in the front seat. Otherwise, it's going to cost us a lot of money. Don't worry, Dad replied firmly. Everything will be all right. Koichi could not eat or sleep properly for the next few days. He would beg mother and father to call the doctor every evening. But the situation stayed the same. Yuki was not getting better. The longer she stayed in the animal hospital, the higher the bill would be. We can't spend all our money on Yuki. Koichi overheard mother saying to father in the kitchen one evening, We may have to make a decision soon. This marked the first time Koichi ever had to worry about money. There was always enough to eat, new clothes to wear, and mother gave him pocket money weekly for him to buy snacks and toys from the school tuck shop. He regretted not saving some of his pocket money. It could have helped. Then Koichi came up with a plan to earn money. After school, instead of going straight home, Koichi stopped by the neighbor's place and rang the bell. Koichi boy, what can I do for you? Mr. Mori and his wife were in their 70s and retired. Their children and grandchildren lived in a city far away. Mori-san, sorry to disturb you, Koichi politely explained. But is there any chore I can do around the house? You can pay me whatever you think is fair. Mr. Mori asked Koichi to rake leaves and weed the garden, and he paid Koichi 500 yen. Koichi then went to every single house in the neighborhood to offer his services. He helped Mrs. Sato water a plant for 200 yen. He walked Mrs. Yamada's three Japanese spits for 300 yen. And when Mr. Hayashi wanted to clean his car, Koichi helped by soaping, washing, rinsing, and finally drying the vehicle. For his effort, Mr. Hayashi paid him 1,000 yen. Koichi saved every single note and coin he earned in a piggy bank and continued to work every day after school. And the boy does a very good job, the neighbors would say. They grew very fond of Koichi and constantly recommended his services to others. Even old Dr. Tomio heard about Koichi's plan to earn money and he was very impressed. May I speak to Koichi? Dr. Tomio finally called one day with news about Yuki. Yuki was very sick at first, but after plenty of rest and constant care from my assistants, she is much better. You'll be pleased to know that you can come and take her home now. I think she misses you very much. Thank you, Doctor, but... Koichi hesitated. Dr. Tomio was not expecting this. What's wrong? asked the doctor. 
May I know how much the bill is? Koichi said, his voice shaking. Dr. Tamiyo burst into laughter. I heard that you're trying to earn money to pay for Yuki's treatment. It heartens me to meet a boy like you. I'll speak to your parents about payment. Don't worry about it. Soon after, Koichi and Yuki were reunited at the clinic. Yuki, I miss you so much! Koichi exclaimed when he saw Yuki, who immediately jumped into the boy's arms and the two hugged tightly. In the end, Dr. Tomio gave the family a big discount for Yuki's medical treatment. Koichi began to work in the animal clinic after school because he loved animals and wanted to repay Dr. Tomio for his kindness. As for the snow monkey, she never got sick again and remained Koichi's best friend for a very long time.